Hi, it's Terry Rose. Today I want to address a question that I get often about what to do when you don't feel passion for anything. Uh, a lot of people want to be able to make money doing something that they love especially, but they can't find something that they feel really passionate about. And I'm probably just going to be harping over and over and over, if you want to call it that, about some of the new discoveries about the way that our body works, about the energetic system that's a part of our body, about the quantum field that that surrounds us, about the way that that uh, energy focused on something really does have an impact, um, how the, the power of intention makes such a difference in what manifests in your life and how past experiences are that all that information is stored in the cells of your body not only in your brain but it's been found that they're st they're stored all over your body so um, if you are not feeling passion for something a lot of times what I have found in my own experiences it's because of well it can be from several things but one of the main things is I find that when I lose passion and don't feel passion, I believe that we're really a spiritual being. Inside, we are not our physical body. You know, I've talked about my near-death experience, and I didn't have my body. You know, I was, I was just as much me without my body. And so I believe that we are made of light. We are this spiritual being. And, and for our own good, you want to call that your soul, your consciousness, you know, people call it different things, they think of it in different ways, but whatever you want to call that inner part that really isn't your body, it's always striving to be more of the light, you know, having instead of the, the darker feelings, the darker energies of resentment and envy and jealousy and insecurities, those kind of things, those those don't make your body feel pleasant. They don't release pleasant uh, chemicals in your body. Um, they, when you check your autonomic nervous system, it's not in a state of coherence when it's in their nice even patterns. So if you think about that, any, any of those kind of emotions really are causing something that's disruptive and destructive. And when you are feeling the feelings of love and peace and joy and and uh, just excitement and compassion and gratitude, all of those energies are healthier for you. They actually have been shown to relax your DNA. It's shown what they do uh, in this energy field, how they actually impact the physical things around you. I mean, there's a lot of studies, a lot of things I've talked about in the past that show that. So I believe we are made, our, our true essence is the highest vibration that you could possibly be. But then we also have this physical body and this this lower sense, this physical sense that's in this in this realm. And that's where we have our free will and our ego and all those kind of things where we feel insecurities, that kind of thing. So we feel these these other energies. So they're the one part of it on more of a spiritual sense, you know, but I mean that's a big part of what I believe in. Um, and I I believe it affects business and money making and and your life's mission and everything. That part of you, that inner part of you wants to do better. It wants to be better. It wants to have more of those positive energies. It wants you to fulfill your reason for being here. So it causes this 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 unrest, you know, in certain things you're doing where you just don't feel passion for it. It's urging you to look for other things. But then the other part of that is Sometimes the painful situations in our lives cause our hearts to kind of feel protected and sort of retreat where we have these memories that come up when we think about doing other things or reaching out and then there's this kind of protective mechanism that comes in because we don't want to get hurt again and sometimes it just feels like a heaviness where we can't really blast through that. So. I am so convinced that we are we we are more than this physical body and everything is energy. Scientists know that everything breaks down to energy. You don't hear people talking about that, but that's really the way that it is. We have electronic microscopes, electron microscopes now that can look into the cells of our body and the more the deeper they go, the more deeper they go, it disappears. It disappears into energy. So when you go to the source of that, and you change those energies into more of the higher vibration, which that's, those are the feelings of love and peace and compassion, then you're more connected through your heart with, 
the passion, the, the mission that you have, those inner feelings that kind of drive you forward and make you want to be involved in things. So when you're not feeling that, it really is a matter of finding those things. Um, a lot of times it's, it's looking for those subconscious beliefs and those things that have you feeling, feeling the pain, feeling disconnected. And I don't know any way of doing that other than with energy work because I worked for so many years of my life, 25, 30 years, doing all these things, taking all these classes and, and releasing and letting things go and freezing things and setting them up in hot air balloons and down in lakes on a pebble and you know waterfalls, washing them away, and it just didn't work. I made incremental um, steps forward, but I never really felt better, and I was always able to reactivate these things. When I found energy work and really started doing energy work, which can be called energy medicine, there's a lot of different kinds of tools um, that you can use that actually go in and remove that distortion. They remove those deep inner inner feelings um, where you just don't react in a negative way anymore. I was really able to start feeling this passion and there's a lot of things that I've, that I've learned over my lifetime that they're just little tools and little things that help you get in touch with that. So the the greatest thing that I could ask you to do is come to my website and sign up for my newsletter and start learning some of these things. I mean, and I'm also a life coach and, and I do energy work. That's the work that I do and I have classes and, and I do one-on-one -on -one coaching and group coaching and write articles about it. So uh, there's there's it's just a lot of new information that most people don't pay any attention to. All of these discoveries that have been made, when I hear the majority of people talking about things, they feel vulnerable. They don't understand how much power and uh, you know how different things really are that we're not being taught yet in general. You know, you can find studies, but most people don't understand the power of the mind and how to use it. And they're just skills that you develop. So I would ask you to come to my website, sign up for my newsletter, um, you know, watch my videos, and keep putting these little pieces together. Or come and get some coaching from me, you know, or join some of the, the monthly membership or something so that you, um, that, that you learn and you get the support that you need to get in touch with your heart and let that light that you are made of, let that light guide you to those things that are going to bring true happiness and, and fulfillment into your life because it is there. It is there inside of everyone. I absolutely believe that. It's just buried. It doesn't mean it's not there. So stop by www.peaceofsuccess.com.